have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the craftsmanship of these traps. I think I should save these. I never waste food. That didn't need a bell. All right, sugar shrooms. I better stand on this side of the rock. It wouldn't budge. I wasn't strong enough to move that rock. You, it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs. Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that? <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, where do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfi was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Shh. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an eye of a beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. Oh, bother. My memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. A very rude monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored. The beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. I could let you cross and 
perhaps even help you with that fire-eyed monster. But since Ulfie didn't eat you, Ulfie needs a pick-me-up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping you. Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ulfie is starving. Mmm, those are sweet, but only when cooked. Uh, those are sweet, but only when cooked. Meat is not sweet, therefore, Ulfie will not eat. Goosey! Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Goosey, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long have we, the bridges, have been stomped on by sharp pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not! As Pilar says, for shame, Daventry! We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting, but Ophi always shows up fashionably late, <laughs> right when the croissants are served. Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ophi is starving. here. Scram! Shoot! Beat it! Ugh. These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Hello there, and good afternoon! Um, forgive the shop from lacking our usual favorites. With all the bridges out and my supplier missing, I can't keep all my delicious treats stocked. But, uh, have a look around. I'm here to answer any questions. Figure out what you want. Got any free samples? Yo ho today only! I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, 
I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. What's today's special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. But I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Good day. Have a sweet day. Wow, these sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, she's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. These starberries are perfectly ripe. Just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. So you spent your only coin to buy that giant pie? I did. I knew that delicious smelling pie would somehow get me to the next round of the tournament. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two, or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfi was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, let us extract that snarling Snarlax eye. Earthquake! It's all yours now. Whisper can do it. Fret not, Goosey. It is the two-eyed Snarling Snarlax, after all. London Bridges! Whisper! I, uh... Mm, Ophie has a new plan. 